Hey, glad to have you here. I'm going to be going over what Beachbody coaching is really about. My name is Christine Dwyer and I'm the founder of the team, Platinum Presenters, which is the largest team within the coaching network of Team Beachbody. So some of the questions you might have is, well, what really is coaching all about? Do, is there quotas and obligations? Do you, how are you going to be able to make some money doing this? How can you fit this into your current schedule and lifestyle? How are you able to do this from your phone? How much time is actually required to do this? Do you have to do a lot of selling? Do you have to target your family and your friends? What's a typical day in the life look like as well as are you able to achieve in this? I'm going to go over all those questions because I'm sure you have them. Many people are coaches for, of course, different reasons. But of course, this is your thing. You decide what you want to do with this. So you set your own work hours. You, of course, can do this part time, full time or even hobby time, but you of course can build online or build around you people that you know and things that you do in your job, in the school, wherever you are, but you're basically just sharing your passion and attracting people towards you. You're basically raising your hand and saying, hey, I want to get people together to start focusing on a healthy and fit lifestyle. So the thing is, is you've already got so many skills. Think about it your previous life professions, what you may be already doing. I mean, you may be working a profession right now where you've got a lot of skills that you can translate over. Leadership skills, presentation skills, training, teaching skills. You have common grounds with so many different people and different areas of your life. You have networks, you have uh, communities, group things that you are a part of, but being an example in the community is also very cool to be a part of that you can invite people to live a more fit and healthier lifestyle. Well, I want to go through how did I get involved? Well, first of all, the way I started was my husband actually was a CIO. So he was in IT for a non-for-profit organization, but he was actually laid off when I started. So I was in the fitness industry and may, you may recognize that person in the picture with me is Shalene Johnson. I started actually working for her company she used to own, and I would manage all of the presenters that she had for the company, get them trained, and of course present myself. But I was doing that with her, and when this opportunity came about, I was actually five months pregnant, and I had already a year and a half, uh, two-year-old son. My husband was laid off, but he finally got a job, but it, he had to drive over an hour to get there back and forth. So he was gone for about 12 hours per day. In that time, um, it was really challenging for me because, you know, I vowed I was never going to do a home business. I said never, ever, ever, because I didn't want to have all that stock or be roping my family and friends to do stuff. But I was a secret yo-yo dieter. I really struggled with my weight and I would hide it from people, especially my boss, Shalene Johnson. And when it came time where I had to let people see me, I would diet down super fast it was no way to be living a lifestyle because I was living in secret and it didn't feel good at all. The thing is, is working for Shalene's company, even though I loved it, it was a fitness company, I hit the ceiling. There was really no place for me to go. So when I started working for her company, I was actually coming out of medical sales and applications. I was traveling all over the place and that's the part where I just had to get out of because I was trying to have a family and I was like, there's no way I could be present in my kids' lives. So I took like a twenty to $30,000 pay cut to go work for Shalene's company. And as much as I loved it, I loved her and I loved doing it, you still always have a level of burnout with every position, but I hit a ceiling with her company. She knew that. There's no place more to grow past in her company when you re really reach the top. And there's only so much income you can make, especially in fitness. There's no money in fitness. Many times people think you can become rich in fitness, but not really. The money that you make in fitness really goes back into supporting the things that you need to teach. And really, when teaching fitness, I really wasn't impacting many people's lives because I was stuck to only impacting the people's lives who came to my class or that would come to my certifications that I would run for Shalene's company. So there was no money in doing what I loved. And I loved working for her company. I never wanted to give that up. But there, was, there had to be a different way for me to be able to expand myself, my skills, to be able to impact more people's lives. And by doing that was by being a coach. Because now I'm not limited to the gym. I'm not limited to the four walls of me teaching a class to be able to impact someone's life. I can impact someone's life online. So realistically, it just made sense for me to be a coach because I was already doing this. I was already helping a lot of people, but I was just limited. I was limited and I didn't have a place to really kind of support people. I could help them a little bit, but I couldn't really 
push people into a complete solution. And then now with having coaching, I now have the opportunity to support multiple people in different ways. When they ask me for help, I'm not limited to what I know. I have a lot up in my back pocket that I can offer for them. The other great thing is I don't have to give up more time to be able to help more people. I can do this in a greater capacity. So how did I make it work? Well, obviously I knew nothing about network marketing. And so I figured out, well, I got to figure this out and I got to fit this in. I was, as I said, pregnant with my my daughter and I had a son at home. So I basically fit it in wherever I could. And I actually built my business when my daughter, of course, was born to the max capacity when, I, when she was a newborn and having my son and of course a full-time job and three part-time jobs. But I did it predominantly when it was nap time and bedtime. I would stay up late and I actually took advantage of that pregnancy insomnia to be able to build. But I really just fit it in wherever I could. You know, if there was busy work that I could do, I would just do a little bit here and there. And I did end up putting my son in some childcare three days a week because he needed some socialization. He was a speech delay kid and um, he needed some, you know, structure and skills. So of course I put him in there and that's where of course I allowed myself to work a little bit, but I would just do it wherever I went. You know, you're not limited to sitting at at an office to do this. You're not limited to being on a laptop. You could do it on your phone. And that was the greatest thing is a lot of people have smartphones now. It's so easy to build online, to be able to answer questions for people, to support them, to cheer them on, to motivate them, even to build content and to be able to put stuff up. It's just really so easy to find people who are just like you. I mean, there are billions of people online. They say in the next three years, Three billion new users will be online. That is crazy, but people are there. So I really focused also on the relationships that I had, I currently had. Um, of course, I had a lot of fitness relationships with people and I already had a lot of following of people, you know, so I really focused on that and I used social media to be able to stay connected to them more and to be able to give them more tools easier but that was a way for me to be able to easily build and stay connected with people. But I additionally, of course, focused on improving my skills. I needed to get better as a leader, a communicator, and a trainer, um, a teacher, because I just like to teach people. And I focused really on living more consistent with this lifestyle. As much as I didn't want to lose that baby weight, I had to. Believe me, I was so out of shape when I was doing coaching. I just said to people, hey, I got to do this. Do it with me. And they kept me accountable. And I, and I was able to lose the weight more effectively because of that. That's it. You don't have to be super fit to do this. You just invite people to keep you accountable so that you can get fit and live fit. The other thing is I just really had a desire to be more successful in my life and to help more people. And I was, I was at a ceiling in my profession. There was really not much more success that I could grow. I have an unlimited amount of success. And did I achieve it? Well, yeah, it all worked. I'm the fittest I've ever been in my life. I'm in my 40s. I've had two C-sections. And uh, I moved from New York to Texas. We really wanted to be in a warmer climate. And of course, the taxes weren't fun up there. But I was able to really start to focus on building a strong following and, you know, supporting people. Nothing feels better than, you know, when you help people achieve success, it feels so good in your belly. And thankfully, my husband, he finally quit his career and he, career. He had no idea what I was building with this because I was actually a coach for two and a half years. And for me, all the financial side and the analytical side and blah, 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 that bored me. So I was just a hoarder of money and I just would put it on my bank account. And one day he went to the bank to deposit something and he saw my slip and he's like, what's going on? And so that's why he said, you need me. And that's where he started to, you know, do all the financial investments, set up insurance and do all this back end stuff that needs to get done for the household. And he was able to quit his career and do this with me as well. But we're present with our kids' lives. I mean, we work together as a family. As you can see, we all do Taekwondo. Um, and I love really being there. And I'm able to teach my kids that fitness is a lifestyle. Like this is just normal. And thankfully, I've been fortunate enough to build the largest network in the downline for the whole company. My team, Platinum Presenters, is the largest of the entire company, um, and it's because we really work strongly together, and I really love creating teaching and training and resources for training to help support more coaches. Um, I thrive on doing that, and I do that with multiple support venues with podcasts and, of course, a conference, which you'll lead to learn, and website support. I just want to make sure everyone is you know, feeling supported. and. 
the Platinum Edge is actually my conference. And crazy, like I have a conference, a weekend conference where it's so fun. We work out and I have my mentor, Shalene Johnson, come in and she does workouts and she does on stage lectures and training for business and marketing. Um, I bring in the top people, which I'll talk about, but it's so amazing to be a part of something where people come together. Of course, I spoil my coaches that achieve success. I call it the Platinum Experience, a weekend of being spoiled. And I've re really created a lot more consistency in my life and, of course, present in my kids' lives, which is the most important thing to me. It's not just me, though. I mean, there's a lot of people achieving success. And just here's a quick snapshot. We, again, Platinum Presenters has the top achieving coaches in the whole network, and that's called Superstar Diamond Coach. It's the top rank you can achieve in the company. We have the most amount of coaches who have ever achieved it within our downline. We have the most amount of millionaires in our network, and we have the highest amount of earning coaches income-wise. And right now, seven years in, I have over 130,000 people on the team. And the network, the entire coaching network, has about 300,000. But many of the coaches are actually having their spouses quit and their partners are doing this together. Like you're creating something together. And this has been so amazing for people to be connected as a community, fit, healthy lifestyle, supportive of people who are just like them. You know, it's like, I found people who get me. So what really do you do in a day in life? Well, the three vital behaviors are the motto from Team Beachbody. Of course, you're always going to be inviting people to be a part of something. So inviting people might be just, hey, do you want to do this? five day clean eating group with me, or you should check this out too. You'd be great at it. But you also want to use, of course, the products, make sure that you're checking out the different products and have an experience from them and be truthful. Of course, you want to use Shakeology, but always keep growing yourself personally, you know, training um, with personal development, attending seminars and conferences and being on team calls. It's just going to help you live healthier. But for the most part, you are constantly focusing on exercise, eating healthfully. Shakeology is the cornerstone of of our company. It's the superfood shakes that we have um, every day. You're going to probably do some scheduled activity. For instance, now when you post on social media, you might think a little bit different about your post. So for instance, in the morning, rather than posting, well, I'm going to go to the grocery store. Why don't you now say, I really want to put up a post that's going to motivate people to go work out today. And you put up a quote, your favorite quote. You start thinking differently. You start thinking in a positive, um, glass full sense because you just want to inspire people. You want other people to succeed. And you just always want to make sure that you're prepared to be able to share this option with other people because you never know when those conversations are going to pop up, like what you're in the grocery store. You never know if you're standing on the soccer field and you have this conversation with another mom. You never know. This always working on bettering yourself through personal growth and development. The other thing is you can always, of course, run these groups called challenge groups. And it's basically just getting people together to focus on eating healthfully and exercising. And you just, mostly people do it on social media, on Facebook, but you're basically just encouraging people to be a part of it and maybe managing it. Of course, it's all an option. It's one of the easiest things to keep you accountable and to inspire other people. Of course, you might want to share the opportunity that there is a business opportunity. You don't have to build a team. Obviously, if you don't want to be responsible for leading people, then don't. But your option, of course, is there. You can, of course, do this on your phone. Like I said, that's predominantly where I'm doing it. Social media, simple. Everybody's on their phone all the time. They're at a red light. They're standing in line. People are constantly living on their phone. And now you can just create content and share it directly from your phone while you're waiting at karate practice. So can you really do this? Really? What's the catch? Let me go through what the catch is. Do you have to stalk your family and your friends? No. For me, I personally invited my family and friends to do this with me because I wanted to be with them. I want them to be a part of this happier lifestyle. I wanted to help my family become richer. I grew up super poor and there's no way that I can help my sisters. I have three elder sisters become richer. There's no way that I could do that by the medical sales and applications job I was doing. This was one way to be able to help them. And thankfully enough, I was the one sister that was mostly into fitness. Now they're all into a healthier lifestyle and that feels so good. But you basically get to choose to invite people that you want to work with. Like when you go to a job working for someone else, you don't get to choose your coworkers. Here you get to choose your coworkers. Do you have to sell? No, you don't have to sell. Of course, there's the option to be able to sell, but mostly you're basically just referring. So for instance, if someone asks you, you know, like, oh, I just don't know what to do for my meals. I don't know how to plan my meals, so I'm eating healthfully. 
You can say, well, you know, what I've done is I actually use this program from Beachbody called 21 Day Fix. And they've got these container systems that it teaches you about portion control, what types of food to eat and how much to eat through the day and how to schedule it. That's what I do. You might want to check that out. You're just basically referring what you know works and what works for other people. So if you don't have an experience with it, you could say, well, my friend actually used it and they had this result. You don't have to stock any inventory. They'll take care of all that. That's a great thing. You don't have to pre-stock anything. You don't have to pay a ton of fees each month. I'm going to go through that. And you don't have to hit a quota to stay as a coach. You basically just have to pay your minimum monthly service fee, which I'm going to cover in a bit. But there is no quota. You don't have to. For instance, if your neighbor has been stalking you on Facebook and saw you talking about Shakeology and then they went to your website and bought Shakeology without you knowing, you get commissions for that. You get commissions no matter what you've built with the business as long as you pay your monthly service fee. That's it. Do you have to change your lifestyle and your habits? Maybe. I'm not really sure what your lifestyle and your habits are right now, but if you need to live a healthier lifestyle, then yeah, you're going to be involved in a community that's going to support that and give you the tools to be able to do that. But then if you're already living that lifestyle, you now have the tools to help support other people to be able to grow a bigger network of people who are doing that. Do you have to be a nutrition or fitness expert? No, you don't. The great thing is, is that Beachbody's products are completely inclusive. So you don't need to know about the exercise program because they've got it laid out for you. You don't need to know about nutrition because you can actually plug right into their meal plans that come with every program. Or you can go online and build a a grocery shopping list or a new meal plan from the club membership. It's all complete for you. You don't have to do it. You just have to be a traffic guide and tell them where to go. Do you have to get fit first before you join? No, I already told you. Or when I had to lose the baby weight, that was really a point in my life where I had to buckle down and admit, get yourself a more accountability. And I invited people to do it with me. I needed them to keep me accountable because I didn't want to work out. I really didn't. I was so tired. And I ask people, keep me accountable and I'll help you too. Do you have to be a network marketer? No, you definitely are going to be learning about marketing, but you don't need to be a network marketer. This is relationship marketing. And you're going to increase your friends and your followers by naturally wanting to help more people. It's going to attract more people to you. You're going to be offering a way to support more people in a fit, healthier lifestyle. And you're just going to plug them in. So boiling it all down, what do you actually do? Well, first you just focus on living fit, share your journey. You're going to use the products, share the experience. You may get more social, you may be making more contacts and building more followers online or maybe in your community, you may be joining or doing a challenge group and helping people with eating healthy. And also you might be, of course, doing more education and personal growth and development and of course training from your own coach, but you may or may not be asking people to look at coaching. If so, if you don't want to build a team yet, then don't worry about that part. But in general, that's basically what you do as a coach. So here's a quick little timeline so you can see where Beachbody's come from. Obviously, you're probably already very familiar with some of these products that they already had. They were already a super successful company. I mean, they were started in 1998. Here's the thing that you need to know. The coaching network started in 2007. Now, many network marketing businesses, they start as a network marketing business and their livelihood of staying alive depends on the success of that. That's not Beachbody. They were already ridiculously successful, I think a $400 million company already prior to coaching. But what they had was they had a lot of people using their products and they needed more help. They needed more support. So that's why they opened the coaching network and they said to their customers, hey, if you guys can help support people, we'll pay you. And that's how coaching started. Now you can see they keep expanding their products because they want to make sure that there's a way to support people in multiple ways. Not everybody's going to be able to do one workout program. The thing is, is we want to find something that's going to help people change their life one way or another. Some people are just so resistant to exercise. They're like, I have no time. Well, you have time to drink a shake per day. You can at least make one change in your day. It's going to start to domino effect. This is an example of the revenue growth for the company. Now, the thing is, is this is actually picture perfect. This is a network marketing company's dream, dream, dream. It's called the hockey stick. So you see how it slides up? It's perfect. And this is also the coach growth. Obviously, that's an old number. This is an old chart, but we're now over 300,000 large. So why are we so successful? It's because we're not focusing on selling a product. That's why. There's too many times where companies are just focused on selling only a product and it gets old real quick when you constantly are feeling like a salesperson. When you're 
when you're selling quote unquote a lifestyle change, when you're pulling people into a community of living more fit to be surrounded by other people who want to do the same, where you're focusing on helping them find an exercise program, a nutrition program, and being rewarded for that. That's why this works, that complete solution. There's something for everyone. There's something that can fit someone's need, whether it comes down to that detox program or just having Shakeology. You can see those results constantly keep happening. The company definitely rewards the coaches who are building their businesses. Of course, there's a yearly vacation trip that is always earned, and it's a free trip that you can go on. You, of course, can earn swag, and monthly they'll give you little bonus gifts for achieving, um, like books from, like say, John Maxwell, or maybe these little fun little bobbleheads, or even new workouts you can get for free. The great thing is, is the company completely supports with training tools that are done online, training programs, of course, communication by uh, training calls, and of course, on social media. Aside from that, though, of course, if you're signing up with my team, Platinum Presenters, we're going to support you. There is um, coach training, weekly podcast training, of course, the conference. And I always bring in the top consultants and trainers like I talked about with bringing in Shalene, as well as I brought in NFL player Bo Eason. He did a training on teaching people how to do their story. There's always a connection to the team to really stay proud, first of all, but to support. There's a training portal that will be available for those who are Platinum Presenters coaches coming soon. Right now, you just immediately go to PlatinumPresenters.com and you can go through the training right there. But I'm making it super simple to open up a new training portal coming soon. So what are your options? What are you going to be doing? Well, you've got two choices. In my opinion, are you going to sign up to be a coach or are you going to just sign and be a customer right now? I'm going to go through those so you can really kind of see what you might want to choose. Okay, so if you're deciding, yes, I want to do this as a coach, really there's no risk. But here's your choice. You're going to sign up to be a coach. Now, you, the first choice I'm going to suggest is that you get a challenge pack. A challenge pack is a bundle package discounted where it's got the, a fitness program, whatever one you choose. So say it's 21 Day Fixed or Pio. It's got Shakeology included for a month, but it also has one month access for free for the club membership, which includes the on-demand library workouts. Check it out. Oh, pretty much the majority of Beachbody workouts are housed in there and you will have complete access. So even if you don't have all those programs, you have all those programs because you have the on demand. You could do it anywhere. I was working out in Mexico to Insanity Max 30 on demand. But when you get a challenge pack signing up as a coach, you now don't have to pay the $39.95 coach fee. That's going to be way for free. So one of the cheapest challenge packs is the one that's $140. And you then don't have to pay the join-in fee of $39.95. So that's pretty sweet that you'll get a fitness program, Shakeology, and on demand. But if you're like, well, no, I'm not going to get that. I don't want a challenge pack. Well, fine. We're going to heavily suggest, of course, that you get Shakeology. Shakeology by a customer, they'd pay $127 for it, but you, because you're a coach, you're going to save 25% on it, so you're actually paying $97 now for your Shakeology. You always make 25% commission, by the way, if you sell anything. So you're buying Shakeology for $97, and then you do pay the $39.95 coach enrollment fee, ding, 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 it's about $143. Now you could have just gotten that challenge pack for the same exact price and gotten the on-demand access and a free workout for program with it, in my opinion. But if you're like, no, I just want to get 21 Day Fix, totally okay. You can just order 21 Day Fix by itself, pay the $39.95 coach enrollment fee, and boom, you are a coach. So your choices are up to you. I personally suggest it's a no-brainer. Get the challenge pack because you get the workout program, the on-demand access to all those workouts. So you get a lot of workouts that you can try and get experience with all by getting that challenge pack. The thing is, is from the second month on, you're going to have a $15.95 business service fee. This covers everything. You can't pay for this with anyone else. It, of course, covers the media promotion and brand awareness, personal websites updated, coach online office, product warehousing, customer service, technical support, marketing, communications, training, success. All of that's included. You cannot find that anywhere. There's no way. I mean, you go buy a domain off of GoDaddy and you're paying that same amount. Now, if you decide, well, no, I just want to be a customer right now. Well, fine, you can go ahead and still get that challenge pack. The price is still the same. They start at $140, and they move up depending on which program you choose. Still get the on-demand access and all of that. And if like two weeks in, you're like, 
I really do want to be a coach. You can still sign up for free. Still sign up as a coach for free. They'll reimburse you that $40. You can, of course, still just get Shakeology if you want or a fitness program. But basically, what's next? What really did you like about this whole presentation? Really, what did you see that can fit in your life that's going to help you achieve your goals? What option do you think is really the best choice for you? Do you want to be a customer? Do you want to be a coach? What is next for you? Do you see yourself in anything of my story? I mean, there's lots of stories out there, but really, what can becoming a coach do for you? Who can you help? Nothing feels better than helping other people achieve success. Your dreams and your goals are possible to achieve once you decide. 